to get you all the details that you need to know on uh, the COVID crisis. Let's move on to the issue of exactly when normalcy will return and when schools will resume again. Well, Dr. Randeep Guleria, the AIMS chief, has spoken exclusively to India today and he's got a very interesting perspective on this. He's actually batted for schools to reopen, but in a staggered manner in the country. Now, what Dr. Randeep Guleria has said, he said that it's time to open up schools and has said children are deprived and schools are key for their wholesome development. Uh, he's su suggesting that it's time to uh, take children off online classes and get back to schools. Remember that the AIMS chief is also part of the COVID task force and he's saying that we could reopen schools if we plan it well and ensure, very importantly, effective surveillance. Laying down the roadmap for reopening schools, he said that places with a positivity rate of below 5% can look to slowly open up. On concerns of a virus spread among children, the AIMS chief has told India today that children have had a good deal of exposure to the virus and that many of them have natural immunity in India. Uh, as far as vaccines for kids are concerned, he has highlighted that the co-vaccine trial for vaccines for children is encouraging. So I am one who does uh, is a proponent that we should work on a strategy for opening mm -hmm. up schools mm -hmm. because for multiple reasons. I think opening up schools and having people, st students coming physically uh, has a lot of benefit. It's not only the e-learning, it's the uh, character development, the social mm -hmm. interaction that children have at school, uh, the uh, midday meals that many children have, and also being able to reach out to those marginalized children who don't have access mm -hmm. to uh, the internet or electronic media and therefore are not being able to attend the schools and have sort of dropped out of education. We need to develop a strategy that all of them can come back to the education system and that's why physical classes should start. We need to have a mechanism, like you said, where the positivity rate is low. We can look at schools, half the school on one day and half on the other day, do some screening tests when the children come, have some good ventilation. And also data is emerging, the children already have good degree of antibodies. Mm. So where the, the infection rate is low, we may and try and open up schools gradually and see whether uh, it works with good surveillance. So if the cases rise, we can always close the schools down again. So, Dr. Guerrero, they're making a pitch to open schools, but in a controlled way and to ensure that it's based on the caseload. So, let's tell you which states have actually gone ahead and ensured the partial reopening of schools. Let's begin with Andhra Pradesh, where classes from 1 to 12 will be reopening from August 16th. There's been a huge debate on this, but Andhra Pradesh government believes that they're ready to reopen schools with, of course, certain guidelines in place. The Delhi government so far has made it very clear that classes will not resume any time now, despite the fact that cases are coming down in Delhi, the up government has said there's no way they're doing it now. Haryana will be, in fact, opening daily for three hours for classes 9 to 12 alone. So your primary junior school, none of that will be opening up. Also, 6 to 8 classes. Classes 6 to 8 will open up from July 23rd, so in a few days from now. What about Bihar? Well, in government schools, classes 11 and 12 students in these classes are actually going to their schools, but this is only in government schools where the government has a say in exactly what kind of guidelines are put in place. In Uttar Pradesh, the schools are open only for teachers who are going in to conduct any work and even sometimes for online classes, but students are not visiting schools. In Madhya Pradesh, students of class 11 and 12 will be heading back to school. This is in a few days from now, from July 25th. What about Maharashtra? Well, here there's been partial reopening. Students of class 8 to 12 are back in schools. It's been on since July 15th with a number of norms in place and this is only in areas where there have been no COVID cases so the government has tracked which districts can schools actually open in and have given the nod. In Gujarat, schools are open only for class 12 students they're the only ones who are visiting schools all other classes are right now not having classes in person. Now in Odisha, class 10 to 12 students are visiting schools from July 26th is when the class schools will really reopen for these students. In the 
the state of West Bengal, there's been no decision that's been taken as of now. Uh, and the government has made it very clear they're not going to be reopening any time now. They're going to be waiting, uh, especially concerned, considering that experts are warned that they could be a third COVID wave. So that's where things stand right now. Milan Sharma is joining us with more details on this. Milan, considering that Dr. Guleria has made a pitch for opening schools with, of course, uh, keeping it staggered, ensuring that, you know, there's a low case load and a controlled environment and the likes, he is a part of the COVID task force as well. So can we perhaps expect some recommendations from the central government on this? You know, uh, perhaps that could be likely because the logic that Dr. Guleria has used here is that most states are now reducing the restrictions and, uh, that have been posed uh, in districts where the zero positivity rate is high, but the positivity rate is low. So, for example, a state like Delhi, where the positivity rate has been around 0.09%, can safely look at opening schools in a graded manner. We can't say so for uh, states like Kerala, where the positivity rate is still high. Dr. Guleria says that children have developed immunity. This has been shown by the last national serum survey that was done by the ICMR, and that shows that the children were also equally affected as adults, but did not show as severe symptoms and did develop antibodies against COVID-19. Children have been deprived of education, especially those who live in marginalized sections that have not got access to online education. And that is why probably opening schools in a staggered manner could be one of the recommendations that could come from the government. But ultimately, Akshita, it's the states that have to decide based on the districts and the positivity rates and the number of cases that are being reported so the children have a safe environment as well. Absolutely. That is the most important, that we ensure that things are safe even if kids return back to schools. But Randeep Guleria making some very important points there, saying that, look, you can go ahead and reopen schools right now, but it has to be done in the right way. Milan, thank you for all of those details.